Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles As Seen a TV Gadget and Food Review Channel. Today I'm going to review the Tykin Thermal Coffee Craft. This is a stainless steel insulated vacuum coffee craft. So this is definitely something that I will actually continue using if it actually is quality and works. The company sent it over, over to me, so I really appreciate it. All right, so I'm just reading the description. The Tykin vacuum insulation technology locks in temperature to preserve flavor and freshness that keeps the temperature above 150.8 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 hours, assuming the starting temperature of 203 degrees Fahrenheit, a room temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and water left, <laughs> they really break it down, and water left untouched throughout the duration of the test. Please note test results will vary depending on the beverage starting temperature and how full the craft is. So I'm definitely going to test that out to an extent. I don't know how hot my coffee pod gets, but I will te check its temperature, put it in the craft, um, and I'll put it in a, a cup side by side and check the temperature. Let's just do it for like 30 minutes and see what it's like. So let's open it up, see what's inside or check the temperature. And yeah, once again, the company sent this over to me, so I really appreciate it. Check that out. You have the brand name right there. Tykin. Kind of reminds me of like Nikon or something. Okay, thermo vacuum carafe, capacity one liter, 34 ounces, double, la double layer vacuum structure, high quality stainless steel, strong thermal insulation. All right, so look at that. All black design, it has a rubberized bottom right here. This is metal and there's a piece of rubber right here. The Tykin logo, a plastic top, a little switch where uh, you know if you want to pour out some coffee, just screws off. And look at that, insulated, stainless steel. Let's do the drop test. Sometimes you can get a better uh, feeling of how quality it is by the sound it makes. And yeah, look at that. So. Definitely a substantial item right here. It's got a little rubberized seal. More metal. And this is just kind of, you know, plastic on top. So yeah, I'm gonna wash this out, get some coffee going, check the temperature, leave it in for 30 minutes. I'll have a control, which will be just sitting out room temperature. The room temperature, by the way, it's 78 degrees, it's 78 degrees inside. Just keep that in mind, so I'll check it before, check it after, after 30 minutes, and see what the temperature is. All right, so here we go. We have some coffee ready to go. All right, the coffee is ready to go. I'm gonna take it off the base here. I got a whole pot of coffee. Let's, uh, I'm gonna get a cup. So, here we go. We're gonna fill this up. And then I'm gonna fill the carafe. I definitely wanna test the pouring feature. All right. So, first, So let's get the temperature gauge here. And first let's measure the regular cup of coffee here. All right, so about 152 it looks like, pretty hot. All right, so. One fifty two, and then I'll measure the carafe. It should be the same temperature. All right, so I don't know how that's possible. Let's try this again. I'm doing it in the center. 
Okay, so it's 162. Okay, let's try this one. So already, I'm not really sure quite why it's hotter in this one. If anyone knows, leave a comment. I guess maybe it's because it's insulated, it's already hotter. So let's say 176 and 162. That's interesting. I just poured it. Same amount. Maybe it's already cooling off. Okay. So it's cooling off fast in the cup. Alright, so I'm going to screw the lid on here. And let's just, just do a quick, let me get another coffee cup. And let's just see how the spout works. So here we go, three, two, one. One of the main features, look at that. And then I close it up. It doesn't come up, well actually a little bit comes out. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, hardly any. I think some, some was left in there. So let's push this down again. And sure enough, the coffee comes out. So that's an awesome feature. Um, I could definitely see this, you know, if you take it in your car or whatever, you don't want it sloshing around, spilling around. And then once you're at wherever you want to go, you can pour out some coffee and, you know, no mess whatsoever. All right, so let's let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I will uh, document the temperature change. All right, so it's been exactly 30 minutes. Let's test out the temperature of the coffee and see how it did. So here we go. Just a regular coffee cup. So about 114 degrees, looks like 114, 115, let's just say 115, it went up to 115. All right, and let's test the carafe, the insulated carafe and see how that then hopefully it works as well as advertised. So here we go. So that's actually pretty amazing. Look at that. So already 170, 171. 172, let's see if it goes up any higher. All right, so only four degrees different. 172, the original was 176. So that is pretty definitive. All right, so this is 162 minus 115, 47, degree, 47 degrees heat loss, which is pretty amazing. I mean, this is a, definitive results. So this only lost four degrees, 176 minus 172 is only four degrees. So this thing definitely works, uh, at least for the half an hour test that I did, but pretty definitive. I also like the feature of pressing the handle and the coffee coming out. That's pretty cool and it doesn't really leak. So I would say it lives up to the expectations. Um, you know, definitely won't break the bank. Uh, depending on the size you get, it's between 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Uh, it's currently on sale. I'll add it to my Amazon so store, so definitely check it out. But yeah, I would recommend it uh, if you're looking for something like this, a craft. This is the small, the smaller one liter version, which is something that I will be using to kind of transport coffee, that's things like that. And it's definitely something that, that I'll use. So this is 34 ounces, one liter. And yeah, once again, it's a Tykin or Tekin Coffee Craft Stainless Steel Insulated Vacuum Coffee Craft for keeping hot. And you can keep anything, you can keep tea, you can keep coffee, whatever you wanna keep hot, I think this will work for you. And so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I'll see you later.